Good morning, everybody. My name is Jade, if you don't know who I am. Put your hands up if you have seen these books before. A few hands, they're pretty cool, aren't they? Pop your hands down. If you haven't seen these before, what these books do is they take a thing and they slice it so that you can see inside all the really interesting and detailed bits. So for example, on this page here, there's a picture of an ocean liner so we can see the outside of it. And then, on your bottom buddy, we can have a look inside at all these slices and see all the really interesting detail bits inside. So put up your hand if you can tell me something you can see in here that you couldn't see when I had it shut. All right, so I'll put it a bit closer to you all. Sage? A pool, right, so now we know that there's swimming pools on these, Millie? Lots of people. We couldn't see them from the outside, could we? There's lots of people. Seamus? Great, so now we know there's stores of food. Yes, Hugh? Beds. Beds, great. So, Freddie, last one? Stairs. Stairs as well. So now we know much more detail about this thing that we could only see from the outside. And that's exactly what Jesus does in the part of the Bible that we're looking at today in chapter 4 and 5 of Revelation. He takes a really big concept, amazing concept like heaven, and gives us a closer look inside at all the really interesting detailed bits. And he does this through a vision to John. And when John writes about this vision about heaven, he uses really powerful words and phrases to describe Jesus ruling in heaven. He says things like thrones and seas of glass and rainbows of emeralds and all really strong language. So what I would like you guys to do today is on the front page of your kids' sheets is listen very carefully to the sermon when they read those parts out and draw your favourite bit of what you can hear. And I would really love to see those pictures so if you could write your name up the top and leave it on the clipboard and put it back in, I'm going to have a look and find a spot to stick them up so you can all see each other's great pictures. So you need to listen very carefully to those really powerful words and draw something that really speaks to you. So before you get your kids' sheets, I'm going to get you to bow your heads and we'll pray. We're going to say, Dear Jesus, thank you for these chapters. Can you copy me? <laughs> Did I say that? I probably didn't. All right, repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for these chapters that help us understand heaven better. And please help us to be encouraged and excited by these parts. Amen.